video I'm going to show you how you can remove adware from Chrome and hopefully after you've followed these steps the offending programs will either be completely gone or they will no longer function as intended which is you won't see any annoying ads all over your browser. The first thing I'll say is good luck. It's not always easy to remove these adware. They can be pretty tough. You also notice that they hide in multiple places. You'll s find that the offending programs don't sound like offending programs. They may sound completely innocent and you'll look them over when you're looking. It involves a lot of detective work. And the clever thing that they do is they will often reinstall the stuff you've removed. So you might have spotted um, some of the programs, but not all of them. So you'll be left with one and then you'll restart your computer and suddenly all of those programs you've removed have appeared again. So there's one that's reinstalling all the programs as you remove them. So sometimes you have to get all of it to get any of it. So that's why I say you're in for a fight. But try out these steps and this should uh, render the adware harmless or remove it. So the first step is to get rid of the extensions. So if you go to this link, put this in the URL bar and it will take you to the correct settings page. Alternatively if you click the icon right in the corner and go to settings and then extensions you'll get to the same place. So you to remove any suspect extensions. Just delete ones you look at and go, I didn't install that. You also need to disable those that might be suspect. For example, if you downloaded one a couple of days ago and then suddenly you're getting all this adware, that one might have something to do with it. But you act probably like that extension so you don't want to delete it. So just disable it and then maybe re-enable it later and if all the adware comes back you can blame that and delete it. Some antivirus programs such as Avast can spot suspect extensions and will warn you about them and perhaps even disable them in advance. You also need to reset your home page. One of the things adware likes to do is send you to its search engine so it gets the ad money as opposed to giving the ad money to Google or Microsoft. Um, our, one of the quick ways to do this is to go into your settings and just set Chrome back to its default. Second step, you need to remove the programs that are running the adware. You'll find these if you go to the control panel and then add and remove programs. If you click the start bar and just type in add and remove programs, you should find the correct um, place. And you'll see a list of all the programs installed in your computer. So remove any that sound suspect. For example, the ones that say publisher Microsoft, they'll be fine. But if you see any weird ones, then you should be deleting these. Uh, you may have to be slightly aggressive. But don't delete anything you know that you need or that you use regularly. Usually these adware programs are pretty small files and are completely useless if you open them. Um, this is where the adware is living. And this is where you'll find the programs that are doing the reinstalling. And you'll also find that these programmers have set the adware on the Windows task scheduler. So that means when you restart your computer or you start your computer for the first time, these are the programs that are running. The Windows task scheduler is going through things like, for example, it might open Skype. It's also opening these adware files. Also, you need to remove the virus or the spyware. These come with the adware. The spyware will be tracking every page that you visit so that it can choose what annoying pop-up ads to send you. So you run your antivirus. This will detect those. If you don't have an antivirus, firstly you should consider getting a free antivirus. Some of the free ones are very good. Or, if you don't have an antivirus, you need to use Windows Defender. And this may be turned off. Don't be alarmed. This is a common thing that viruses like to do. You turn off Windows Defender. 
so you have to turn it back on and of course you should be running regular scheduled scans if you're not then set this up and the fourth and final step is to run specialist software hopefully by this stage the ads have gone but they may come back and the files that run the adware are still hiding in various places so by running specialist software you'll be able to find where the rest of the um, malicious software is hiding and by running these programs you'll be able to delete those files so malwarebytes or adware cleaner are the standard programs that you can get to run get to destroy these files these will do very thorough searches of your entire computer they may take some time and involve restarts but they will remove as much of the program as possible um, if you're running malware bytes you probably want to select check all once it's finished and identified the dodgy files or go through and delete as many as possible because malwarebytes is quite thorough so it will throw up what it calls potentially unwanted programs these may be programs that you actually want like or use but malwarebytes think are potentially suspect so it doesn't automatically delete all your files because some of them you might want to keep so go through that list and check as many as you can perhaps even all of them if you don't recognize any of them you can probably just get rid of all of them and if this doesn't work so if you don't feel like you've completely got rid of everything then your last option is to try Hitman Pro they call this like a second opinion so this may get the things that malware bytes and adware cleaner have missed though these programs tend to be very good and finally I'll give you a few more notes as we've as you might expect some programs just refuse to uninstall you'll click uninstall and nothing will happen this is quite difficult to resolve and I'll put a link to a, a good article that gives you some tips and some things that you can try again as I said you're in for a fight sometimes the ones that refuse to uninstall are putting up a fight um, you also if you don't get rid of them hopefully at least you've disrupted the program so the ads are gone your computer is running as normal even though there is little fragments of the adware left on your computer but sometimes these can be quite harmless just text files and whatnot and finally to stop this happening again you should be scheduling regular scans by your antivirus or if you don't have antivirus Windows Defender but well part of the problem is you probably didn't have antivirus so you may consider getting at least the free versions which are very good and also make sure your computer is regularly updated or the antivirus won't work as well so hopefully having followed all these steps you've got rid of that annoying adware um, if not keep trying there's a lot of very good resources on the internet beyond this video good luck and thank you for watching